Okay, Holly, this is what we're going to make today. Okay. One of these. Okay, we have to do this with the bandsaw. So I'm going to cut it, and then you're going to glue and clamp everything together. Okay? Okay. So, first we have to cut one time here. And then whenever we have the flat side, we can cut out the drawers. And then we have to glue everything together. So first we're going to find the best side. Which I would say... We'll use this for the drawers. Because it sticks out a little bit. We have a little bit more room. We'll cut this flat. That's going to be the back side. And then we'll use this as the front side. Okay? Side that we can cut like this into it, okay? Yeah. So first we're gonna make we're gonna go one line in, cut like that, and then go back and cut that one, okay? So now, now we have to cut off the face, okay, cut off the face of both sides, cut off the back on both sides, and then we cut the U for the drawer. So now you we got our drawers and we have our our frame. Yeah. Okay, so we have to put the drawers back together like that, like that. Okay, and then we want to glue the back back on. But we'll, we'll wait with the back because my bandsaw is really old and it's not completely straight, so we're gonna have to sand the drawer. Sand the drawers a little bit. I'm gonna to have to push and pull and make sure that it's gonna go in right because these aren't completely level. So the thing's like a cone now. Okay, so uh wait, first we have to sand a little bit of this. We have to sand a little bit of this off so that it's nice and clean. And then we can use a piece of sandpaper. Just the rough edges. Don't sand too much, just the rough edges. Right. You see here? Yeah. You want to take a little bit of, or you want to sand a little bit of an angle like that, just so you get them off. Because if not, then they'll hang between the two pieces and it won't glue and flush. Too much glue. Did you have yeah, find all your pieces first. So here's the two small pieces for the small box, and here's the two big pieces for the bigger boxes. 
das Lampe. Ja. Not too much. Right. Other way. Look at the shape of it. Yeah, just like that. Good. Now lay it down flat and put it on the other side. Glue. Look. Each side has a pointy, each side is, has a pointy side, okay, glue, good, it's okay. Whenever we clamp it, we can straight it all out. So do the other one, and then I'll clamp one, and then you clamp the other one. glue down in the bottom. Good. So I'll flip it over. It's good. Whenever we clamp it, we'll straighten it all out and then we wipe away the excess glue, the extra glue. Okay, now you hold the camera and watch what I do. Okay. So now we're going to take it clean, straighten everything out so it's nice and flush. Okay, and it doesn't have to be, it has to be good, but it doesn't have to be perfect because whenever we get the clamp on it, we can even it out, flush everything up, and then we're going to sand a little bit too. So if one side hangs over, because you have the blade, for example, if this is the blade, and when you cut that out, you miss that much. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna line up perfect. There's gonna be a little bit of a gap. Okay. Just lightly tighten it up down towards the bottom so you don't break it because up here has no support. Make sure everything's lined up again and wipe away the excess glue. And then we can actually, since here's a little bit thicker, we're going to put a little bit more glue and push it in with our fingers so that it takes up a little bit of that big gap there. Just lightly with the clamp. Don't put the clamp too hard, okay? Use this one because it has the gummy thing on it. It's a piece of rubber. Look. First, get it where you need it, like that. Keep it a little bit down towards the bottom. Good. And now, turn. Yeah, turn that. Not too much though. 
just so it stays together in the same spot so it doesn't move. A little bit more, a little bit more. Good. So, and check to make sure that all your lines are. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Um, yeah, we have to dry. adjust this a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Up the two. Yeah, you can put a little glue in there. That's good. And then wipe it in with your fingers so it takes up some of the gap and keeps it together. And then wherever we sand, we'll put a little bit of putty in it. You won't even see it. I'm going to make this flush. Good. Check the other side. The other side's good, too. That's okay. So now we will... Uh, you see how the glue is in there? Mm -hmm. You can either, sometimes I take my fingernail, or you can take like a little knife. And just scrape it out. When the glue dries, you won't really see it. And done. So now we have to do this one. So, and now you sand. A little bit of an angle, like I showed you. Look. You see the grain? Mm -hmm. The grain's out. So go, like I showed you. A little bit of an angle, like this. Okay? Like this. And then you'll break it right off. You won't sand too much out. Good. It's just so it doesn't leave any gaps between the two pieces. Good. Next one. Okay, so now you hold the camera. I'm going to show you. First, I'm going to do this. You have to get glue down inside there, okay? So we're going to open it up a little bit, but not hard enough that we'll break this because the wood grain goes this way, so this way is split. Okay, and we're just going to squeeze the glue down in there so it goes down. Now we'll take our knife and spread it down in there. Okay, just like that. And this one. This side we have to, we can't go here because you get the glue there, you'll see it. Glue, glue. Just like the excess way. glue around here and then we'll clamp the other side the back one to it but here you can put a little extra glue put some here around the drawers are really important around the drawers and around the edges yeah now here down Put some here, but not too much. Down farther. Good. So, and now this time we're going to spread it out a little bit because I don't want to get the glue into here because I don't think we'll be able to get it off. Spread it a little bit. Now put the back on. Right. First we have to see which side. I think like that. Is it? Nope. 
Yep. Good. So now I get it evened out. Look, that both sides are about even. Okay. Not that you have here where it hangs over and the other side is too small. And then top and bottom. Good. Now you can barely see it. So now we need another clamp. And this time we will use. Yeah. This time we're going to use. Yeah, use that one down at the bottom. That don't go so wide. Yeah, yeah. Push this back out of the way so you have some room. Down at the bottom. Good. Tighten it a little bit, not too much. It don't go smooth. Good. Yeah, you hold the camera. I'll do this. This. So we need one more clamp. Good. Make sure everything's even again. That's good. Oh, now we so now dry. all of our glue is dry. Yeah. I can take all the clamps off. And now we have to sand it. Yeah, we have to sand. So now we're going to take sandpaper. Yeah. Here's your piece. Fold it. that you have a nice stiff piece, okay? Now, you have a sand. I'm going to show you a little trick. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on the way the glue dries. Normally the glue should dry so that it's clear and you, you don't see. So when I do stuff like this, mm -hmm. sometimes I use like a, a clear paint, like a, a clear lacquer, it's like paint, and I'll sand off a clean surface and I use the sand the uh, the dust from sanding I'll mix that with glue and then I use that as my putty so that you, it matches the collar because every oh. wood has a different collar look this piece has yeah. one two three four at least four different colors on it okay so I try to keep the, the dust from the, when I sand and I'll mix it with glue and then I use that as the putty so that you can't really see the line that good yeah. so you just take Here, you see how it hangs over a little bit? Yeah. We want to sand that flush. Okay? You do that and I do that. You do that one. But sand over over top of a, a spot that's clean. Make sure there's no dust there that can get mixed in with it. Yeah, 
so we cut it one time here and one time here remember what I said about the the blade look over here you have the thickness of the the saw okay so go back here so now we're missing this and this so when we put this in you see how it goes back so far that's the size of the blade so we're going to take something I'll try a piece of this or that no, I need something small So we lay that down in there. Oh, you see? That's the size of the blade about. So that's good. So we're going to take this and glue a piece on both sides of the flush. Okay. One. Let's try the bigger one. So now we have a thickness. It's actually a little bit thicker, but get your two handles. And the glue. No, we're not going to use that glue. We're going to use the normal glue. What? We're going to use this normal glue. Okay. okay. So put the glue on your handles. But not too much, okay? Because you'll see, if you put too big of a glob, you'll see it and it won't look pretty. Wait, do this one first. That comes on which one? It doesn't matter. Whichever one you want. But put enough glue on it, though. A little bit more. Okay. So, stick it on there where you want it. Let me see. That falls. So there's one, and I'll do the other one, but first, eh, maybe we're not going to be able to use this glue. I don't think it works. I don't think so either. We'll take the other one? Yeah, the other one's epoxy, it's not really. But first, look, look. First put it on there and see where you're going to want it. Can you get another piece that's a little bit thicker like that? See if you can find another piece, and I'll work on this. I don't think that's going to stick, and hot glue is not going to look good. But maybe we're gonna have to use hot glue. We're gonna have to use hot glue, aren't we? Okay, I'm gonna go get the hot glue gun. Okay. So we're gonna do this now with hot glue because we're running out of time. And it actually sets really fast. So we wanna look where we wanna put a handle. Okay, so do we want it that way or do we want it that way? I would say we do it. Yeah. This way. I uh, shoot, 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 shoot. So, I got cut. Blue gun's broken. So, we're going to set it down a little bit. Hold it down. Okay. So, that is where we're going to want it. So, we're going to set it down a little bit. Put two spots. And then stick it into the glove. One. Stick it in the glue. And we have to let so, it dry. One. And twist it a little bit. It's not dry yet, so that it hangs out. And we have a good handle. Okay? Whenever it dries, we can cut it away so you don't see it very good. Now, the next one. So, where do you want it? Here? And this way. This way, right? Yeah. And it sticks out a little bit. So, set it down a little bit. Put, yeah, it doesn't work. It's broken. I broke the handle. So, normally I don't use this very often. So, we got one, two, and stick it in the glue. Just like that. Now, we'll wait for it to dry and we'll cut the glue so you don't see it. That here? Yeah, that and here around the edges. That's why I don't like using this because. You see it so much, and whenever it dries, it gets a little bit foggy. Don't play with it, let it dry. But the good thing about glue, hot glue is it's dry already. Whoa, that was fast. Oh, there we go. That's the end. And? You like it? Yeah.
Good. Thank you, Aunt Rosie. You like it? Yeah. Good. So, done. Say bye. Bye.